Hello, I'm Mr. Plummer, and here on, on this video, we're going to set the temperature on a Honeywell AM1 domestic mixing valve. So, uh, first of all, the, the tank has to be up to temperature, the uh, indirect tank, or whatever it is you're using. In this application, we're using a indirect fired, and it's up to temperature, and the boiler is not running yet. And then we create a flow of water. So I have something running upstairs. I have a sink running. And it, um, there's this temperature strip that comes with the with the mixing valve. And uh, as you can see, it's right about 124 degrees. I apologize for the lighting. Uh, the way the way you actually set this, if you were to turn this knob as it is, nothing happens. It doesn't move. What you have to do is loosen the screw way out. You don't have to take it out, but just enough so that it's almost out. And then you would adjust this knob and watch the temperature strip go up and down and adjust it accordingly. So I'm dropping, I'm lowering it. As you can see, that it just went down to 118. I'm going to increase it just a tick, and right there it's at 120. I'm just going to go a tweak. And there we go. So right there. And these are pretty pretty accurate, believe it or not. And this uh, metal strip is a one-time use strip, according to the directions. And uh, so I'm going to lock it in right there. And to lock it in, I just push this handle in and tighten the screw. They basically, I'm going to just wind this in by hand first and then just catch the last with the screwdriver. Basically, they don't want uh, people coming down here, coming down to the basement and turning this knob to uh, increase the temperature. So that's why you have to have a, a screwdriver to loosen it, to pull this out and then turn it. So there we are. We're at uh, 120 degrees, and I'm just going to leave it, and I'm going to go back upstairs and shut off what I turned on. And that's how you set a Takeo, uh, I'm sorry, a Honeywell AM1 series Mix valve. Thank you. Bye.